Hey guys, it's Demander1957. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. It's currently the morning of day 45 and we're up here in the fire station attempting to get some stuff done. After we uh, got done messing around yesterday, I put the forge to work making cement and uh, forged steel for us as we had a little bit of a need for that after finding that rad remover schematic. Uh, so I immediately made three of those bad boys. We're going to put one in our pistol, one in the AK, and in the third one we're going to put into our other punchy turret over at the horde base. Uh, I still have a cripple mod cooking here. As soon as that gets done, I'll put it into the AK as well so that we can keep these hostiles at bay, basically. I'm not sure about what exploring we're going to do today. I kind of wanted to go north and check out stuff up there. But then again, I don't know. really honestly think the Crack of Book Tower is just going to be a waste of time, even if we do find it. We're probably better off just ransacking these little random houses around us and searching their bookshelves. A lot less hassle and be able to pick up plenty more small arms ammunition too while we're at it. I think I'm also going to go to the desert city over there and go bug Trader Rick, see what he's got. Maybe look around some of those POIs while we're at it. But anyway, I'm still waiting for this other mod to get done and I'm going to mod the pistols and all that. So I'll bring you guys back here in a minute. Okay guys, got everything all modded up. I changed my mind and went ahead and put those mod, uh, extra mods into Junkie since we're going to be taking him out and about. It's no big deal. We can easily make more. We got the forge cranking out forge steel after all. So I think we're going to jump on the gyro and go bug Trader Rick. See what he's got for sale and do some of those POIs around in his little desert town. See what new skills we can pick up. So, okay, let's head out. All right, let's see if this uh, takeoff is any smoother since I cleared some trees out of the way for us here at the end of the runway. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Now, I'm not sure what all we're going to find in this town or how hard we're going to loot it. We might, if we have time, go swing by that Red Mesa military base too. I don't know. There's probably more than enough to keep us occupied for today just in this town, I would really imagine though. Well, that was a pretty good landing, if I do say so myself. Trader Joe's is now open. All right, let's see what he's got speak, first survivor. before we go wasting a sugar butts on his ass. Oh, he restocks on day 46. Well, that's all right. He's got hazmat pants. Wonder what's up with that. Man, I ain't doing nothing special for us. Be seeing you. Yeah, I know. I kind of doubt it, though. Well, he didn't have much of anything, to be quite honest. What's up, bunny rabbit? Okay, now then, about these houses. Well, I guess that one right there is just as good as any. I don't think I've ever been in it before. So let's go see what the dealio is.
Hmm, broken out floor right off the bat. What's up, hazmat dude? Chicken getting wrecked over there. Hmm, what is this? Some kind of bunker type? Well, it don't look too terrible so far, but looks can definitely be deceiving. Ooh, spider monkey. Suck. Well, Daisy's over there taking a nap. Oh, and she's a feral too. Good night, sweet princess. Ah, ah, ah. We got a fat ass cop over there. Old Barney having a bad day. Okay, we've got bulletproof closet doors. Very odd. What's up, pig? Ow, you son of a bitch. Slow it down, Barney. God damn your asses. Ooh wee. All right. We're infected and everything, you son of a... Well, you know what? I got medical supplies out in the motorcycle. I think we're going to take a momentary pause here and get healed up and then I'll be right back. Okay, got all my various owies took care of. Man, they was really piling up on me there. I think I should invest in uh, heavy armor. Because I do have that perk book where if you're in combat you don't have any movement penalty be quite helpful in situations like that I do believe
What's up, skater boy? Looked like he was getting ready to run. Damn your ass. Piss off. You know, annoying little pieces of shit, aren't you? Yep, thick sleeping in the closet. Time for you, dude. Oh, what's up, football dude? Yeah, you ain't running so fast about that leg now, are you? Damn it, Opie, you startled me. I don't like that. All oh, y'all, piss off. Oh, well, of course there's a creepy attic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it. Well, come on. Don't be in such a rush, Daisy. What's up, military dude? Whoa, it's time for a regroup here. Cripplem schematic was a definite good choice. Yeah, we got people wandering in from the outside. Oh shit, that's a screamer.
Shut up. You didn't see me. Last thing we want is a wandering horde come busting up in here, too. Okay, that was probably everybody out of the creepy attic, but who knows. Okay, well, we got some main loot anyway. Uh, of course, I don't have any eye candy on me. Well, that's all right, though. Oh, look at that. Another crucible. Sweet. Metal spikes mod, some ammo. Oh, level four military vest. Well, that's probably better than what I got on, actually. We don't need that challenge. Okay, I think that was it in here. Level six padded chest armor, level six scrap gloves. All right, let's go back downstairs and uh, try to find these bookshelves again and see if we can get some learning done. Oh, look at this, guys. We got the rocket launcher schematic. Sweet. Make it really easy for us to blow ourselves up. Paper, of course. Honestly, wasn't anticipating this house being so big and involved. All right, let's try to get our way into this wall safe. Look at that, first try. Oh, nice, a level six marksman's rifle, sweet. Shotgun Messiah, volume five. Okay, well, I'm going to repair some of this stuff, and then we'll sell it to Rick, I think. I'm going to drop some things off in the gyrocopter, too, while I'm at it. We'll be back in a minute. Each day is a blessing. Well, that wasn't too bad. Y'all come back now. A couple of three thousand dukes. So yeah, if you guys are wanting to do that place, make sure you're prepared. It's kind of hairy. Well, let's see. We might as well hit one or two of these little places. I wonder what's up with this. It looks like nothing, but it might be something.
Oh, nice. It's got a bookshelf and some ammos. Fireman's Almanac Volume 3. Skater boy over there. Hey, skater boy. I don't know if that's that ridiculous uh, underground bunker house or not. We'll take a quick poke around here, I guess. Stay down, Brittany. I really hate it when they spawn those zombies in out of nowhere. Magnum Enforcer Volume 6. Okay, looks like the upstairs is cleared, so let's go ahead and see what's down in the creepy cellar over here. I'm going to say zombies. Change your panties, Aunt B. Looking kind of nasty. Ha <laughs> ha little death trap failed. Oh, got another full loot room. Sweet. All right, let's check her out.
Oh, we got a level two steel helmet, six iron knuckle, ammos, and a double pocket mod. More ammos and some steel club parts. Trader Joel's is now closed. Well, Tech Junkie Volume 7, Hydraulics. This advanced tweak to hydraulics increases the fire rate of robotic weapons by 10%. Sweet. Come on, you can do it. Hit it again. Took too damn long. All right, guys, been an interesting day. We got not as much done as I thought we was going to, but it is what it is. So anyway, we're probably just going to bang around tomorrow some more. But in the meantime, I'm going to fly my way back home, get unloaded, work on some more mods, all that good stuff that's going to keep us alive. So hope you really enjoyed the content because I really appreciate you guys watching. And I'll catch you tomorrow in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.